What's going on guys, Sean Gautier back with another video. Guys, this is a long time client of mine. I saw her out and about with her hair cut all the way down, rocking it natural, and it was lightened. I knew I just had to get my hands on this. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned to the end, it turns out super dope. And let's get right into it. All right guys, the hair is all combed out and ready to go. We're gonna start off by establishing the side of the head. We're basically gonna cut the blonde to leave a weight line, basically like we would with a weighted crop top. We want the blonde line to kind of ride the parietal ridge. We're gonna set up the side of the head to do a taper and a design on the other side. So we're gonna cut all this down, get ready, and we can come in and do our taper. We're gonna get right into our taper using our Slimline Pros to set a bald guideline. We're gonna go ahead and bald out underneath this. Then we can come in with the shaver and make sure that we have this all the way down the skin before working our way up. And guys, if you're new to the channel, I do the same exact steps. Every haircut, all we're changing is the shape and the end product of the haircut, but my fade steps are exactly the same, so follow along. If you guys wanna implement these on your own, I hope they help. Now that it's balled out, we're coming in with our lever all the way open. We're going up about a half an inch. You guys can see the section there. At the bottom of the section, we will use the clipper closed to work the guideline out. In the middle of the section, the clipper will be halfway open. And at the top, it is all the way open as you can see right now. Now that we're done with our first step, we'll move on to our next step. It is a one guard all the way open and we're gonna go up another half an inch. Now guys, because of the texture of the hair, you're not going to obviously see this guideline. It's almost blended into the side. So you guys can see it there though. After we get it established, we will immediately come back with the clipper closed and start to take that guideline out between the two sections. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on and connect everything together that we've done so far to the side of the head. So you guys remember we started with a number three. Now we're gonna take a number two closed and we're working on that last line that will connect the taper that we've done so far to the side of the head. So you guys can see that the two guard did a pretty good job but the one and a half will connect everything together and take that last line out between the two sections. After that guys, we'll continue to work our way back down just polishing out this taper until we're happy with it. So we'll go from the one and a half Back to the one, back to the half guard, back to the open clipper as needed until we think this looks good and we can move on to the other side. Now we're gonna move on to the other side. You guys follow along with the color guide down below. I will tell you guys we decided after the first side that we were gonna throw a design in this side. So I am gonna cut the side down a little bit shorter and I'm not gonna show it, but we will go to the other side of the head at one point and cut that down as well. So on the other side, we only used a three. On this side, we're gonna get our line of color established and then we're actually gonna cut this side down to a one and a half. Now that we have it cut down, we're gonna come in and do the taper the same exact way we did on the other side, so you guys just follow along. But real quick, I wanna talk about CT Barber Expo 2021. I just got home, guys. It was super dope to be able to meet so many of you guys in person and all the kind words you guys had for me where some of you guys started barber school or did different things based on watching my channel. You guys had so much to say. It was so great to meet all you guys and take pictures and just chop it up. So if you guys don't know about CT Barber Expo, guys, it is the Super Bowl of Barber Expos. It was a great time. It was at the Mohegan Sun Casino. I almost didn't get home, guys. I couldn't get a ride. I don't know if any of you guys dealt with that on your way out. I couldn't get a Lyft or an Uber, but we ended up making it home. One of the Tomb Squad homies drove us to the airport. Long weekend, I'm super tired. I'm editing this video. Literally, guys, it's an hour before this video is coming out. 
I barely got it done, but you guys know I'm going to stay consistent and keep the content coming for you guys. So I got a couple more tutorials recorded. I got some new tools at the Barber Expo, so I'm going to do some unboxing and reviews for you guys soon. And again, I appreciate all of you guys that watch my channel and the guys I met this weekend at the show. Super cool. It's the first time I really got to get back to a show now that I have a YouTube channel. So super dope. You guys keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate all the kind words. And you guys are just the best, I swear. Uh, well, you guys can see this taper coming together. Like I said, this side is a little bit shorter, so we will cut the other side down. We're going to go ahead and move on to the back, guys. Same exact setup. And you can see, based on knowing how the hair is acting now, I'm going to go in with my two guard instead of my three guard. Now that I've figured out that two is going to give us that nice, clean edge into the color on top. So like I said, guys, we're creating this line. We're going to curl sponge the top. We want to have this hard line of the color. And now we're going to come in with a one and a half and prepare the back for the taper. Now using the same exact steps that we did on the side guys, we'll start with our slimline pros. We're gonna punch in the guideline, go ahead and ball out underneath that. We'll come in with the shaver as usual and get all the stubble gone, get it nice and short down to skin and then we'll start our first section. For our next step, we'll come in with the lever all the way open. We're gonna go with about three quarters of an inch. We have a little bit more room on the back, obviously. You guys can see we got our guideline established. Now we'll work that line out from the bottom. So clipper closed at the bottom, halfway open in the middle, and we already did the open at the top. Then we can move on. Now we'll come in with the one guard all the way open. And remember guys, this is a one and a half above it. So it just about should connect. Anything that's left behind, if we need to, we can come in and clean up. But we will do our next guideline with the one open. Then we'll close it up and start to attack the line between the open section and the one section. You guys will see this is going to start to come together pretty easy. We'll come back in with the half guard and take out anything that's left behind. go ahead and hit most of her hair around the hairline with hairspray. I want to comb her hair down. This texture does like to curl up out of the way. So I am going to spray it with hairspray, brush it down, make sure that hair is held in place so that I can come in and get a nice sharp lineup. Guys, we're only going to do the C cup and around the ears. We're going to leave the front hairline feminine. I'm not going to give her a box. So we're just going to get her hairline looking nice around the ears. We'll get a C cup sharp and then we're going to do this freestyle design. Now guys, I put some curl cream in the top, wet it with a little bit of water. We're gonna use the curl sponge to get it to curl back up and you guys will see the nice little finish look with that weight line that created, or really it's just a color line, it's not really a weight line. But we will go ahead and curl this up then we'll come in and start our design. We're gonna do a little freestyle up over the ear, kind of feminine, we wanna keep the lines kind of curved. We will do a little zigzag in the back, but I'm gonna let the beat ride, you guys enjoy the design. We'll come check out the finished product here in a minute. All right, guys, there is the before. You can see she's rocking the natural hair. Lighting it, like I said, I wanted to get my hands on it, give her something dope. Like I said, longtime client. Super stoked to have her back in the chair, and I think she was happy with the haircut. And there you guys go. There's the finished product. Nice little short, feminine haircut. Taper on the sides with the color line on top. Freestyle design on the sides. Like I said, she was super stoked, guys. You can see she is just cheesing. Haven't cut her hair in a long time. It was super nice to catch back up. You guys can see her face, loving it. So that's what we do this for, guys. If you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this finished haircut. Make sure you guys hit subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.